so the dating scene these days 2023 has been for a minute sucks ass like if it ain't a beautiful young lady asking for forty dollars it's something else so i'm chatting with somebody online you know what I'm saying? We chatting for a little minute. The vibe seem like it's vibing. I go to exchange my number. Like, let's FaceTime, you know, move on to the next step. She is like, you going to get my nails done? I'm like, get your nails done, you know. I get, get my folks' nails done. Like, if we dating, you my girl, I'll get your nails done. But, uh, you know, I'm just getting to know you. She told me, how am I supposed to know if you're interested in me? If you don't do something for me? Well, I'm interested in you because I was having a nice lengthy conversation and then I tried to move forward and exchange numbers. The internet, right? So in my experience, it's like, you gotta be rich, rich. For just average women. And when I say average women, I'm not like trying to take away from anybody's status. What I mean is like, you know, not middle class, like making 40000 or under a year. You know what I'm saying? For for those type of women, you got to be a, a rich man just to be a prospect. And then they still are, you know, kind of narrowing down out of the out of the rich dudes that they trying to talk to what's the best fit and from what i've been seeing is the best fit is like who gonna give me what i want when i want it the funny thing about that is like and it's not a necessity because i'm getting to know you but like what are you offering like your conversation is shit you're not thinking on a higher level. You're, you're not carrying a conversation that's like got my mind intrigued. Maybe it's because you have that beautiful flower between your legs that makes you think that that's all you need. Is it the eyelashes? Is it the homie the clown eyebrows is it uh and don't get me twisted i like all that shit i love the fucking eyelashes that look like butterfly wings and i love the wigs and weaves that be flowing because like who wouldn't you can have a different looking woman every day but all you have to offer is this physical stuff like if i start talking about any subject other than the bread that you may want for what you need is like too much. It's just like, you want me to drop a bag? Like it's to the point where I don't be wanting to post none of the things that I accumulated because I get motherfuckers that holler at me and I realize it's because, and I ain't even getting it like that. Motherfuckers out here with Ferraris and Maseratis and stuff like that going through the same thing. I got a little Beamer, a little coupe. Post that up. They can be fresh. You know what I mean? I like to go out to eat and do stuff like that. So I post stuff like that. And that's enough to somebody to go in my inbox and randomly ask me to cash at them $40. Now, some people have, like, stories, like, my car is broken down, my kids need to eat. But some people really be hitting you up, like, can I get $40? Like, can I get your name, miss? Where are you from? How old are you? What are you looking for? So it's like, this world is crazy doomed because at one point, a motherfucker that was, like, middle class, upper middle class, he was like a prize nigga, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, it, it took a minute for, you know, us to be able to step out the streets and be able to get a little bag in the corporate world or construction or whatever, trucking or whatever you do. There's plenty of ways to get a bag out here legally. It took a long time for 
the majority be like, you know what? I'm trying to be free in these streets and do other things, but like you upper middle class and you still don't got enough bread or you're not worthy enough for like average. And like I said, I'm not disrespecting anybody's status. When I say average, it's like, it's not corporate America Jones because I know Jones with bachelors in science and, and, and masters and stuff like that. So they're like upper middle class to upper class. But it'd be the Jones that like, ain't really doing nothing that be like trying to get a bag out of rich motherfuckers to the point where like a middle class motherfucker is is a broke nigga like i'm living comfortably you know what i'm saying all my bills and everything paid i drive a little beamer i can buy what i want when i want i can take you out when i want you know what i'm saying we can go on trips and shit i mean i'm not fucking putting the fucking $100,000 phone racks to my ear and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Even if that shit was sitting here, it wouldn't be on my ear. But it's like you get these these women that are not at the highest level they can be at. Shooting for the stars. And it's like, huh? Like, what is this world turning into? Like, am I only a bag? So, you got a group of women that don't need men. I get it. Nobody need nobody, right? We're going to survive regardless. If it was just me in the world, I'm going to survive if it's just me by myself. But you know what? I like women. I need that transference of energy. I like that balance. I love the kids I produce with you. The empires that can be built. But that is not this new wave of woman's energy. It's like you got a woman that's focusing solely on career. Fuck niggas, I don't need a nigga. Then after they reach their career, they be lonely and looking for a nigga, but they are so independent that they want to compare everything to that man when we should be trying to build together. But I guess it's like, I guess, you know, you don't want nobody that's making less than you. I can, I can feel that. I mean, I don't care. I mean, it's all about the person for me. It's like the energy. It's how we converse. It's like how I feel after spending time with you. But it don't seem like the world is on that type of time. At least not my people. And I, I be out here dating. So I be having like mad experiences where it's like, for real? I need to move to another country and I hope America hasn't tainted every other country in the world because, sis, what you offering? I have no problem getting pussy without paying for it. So what are you offering? Are you stimulating my mind? Are you back to back building this empire with me? Or do you just want to spend the bag that I'm making? It's like a confusing John. So then you run across the woman that's not worried about that. And they got a little baggage from not worrying about that with motherfuckers that wasn't trying to do shit, be shit. So they a little tarnished by motherfuckers trying to eat off of them, which would be the same sense of as a woman trying to eat off a man. So I understand we in that same boat. But when we get together, it's not a competition. Baby girl, I'm glad you're making a bag. I'm glad you don't need nobody to survive because I'm the same way. But why are we on a date? If you got your own money, I got my own money. If you don't need a man, why are we on a date? You just want to have the social experience? That's a need. Uh, you just want to get the, the kitty pleased? 
Well, that's a need. You haven't had kids yet because you were focused on your career, so you want to focus on family now? Well, that's a need. You know what I'm saying? A need that me as the opposite sex provides. So while I'll sit and build with you and we can bust it up into infinity, I will talk to you about Andromeda, the Mayan Zoltan, the long count calendar. We can talk about the the pharaohs in Egypt, you know what I'm saying? We can talk about Greek mythology, even though I don't really fuck with Greek mythology. I'm going to also want to cook because I'm a single man, so I got to be able to feed myself. So to see you geeking over something I cook, like, oh, this man can cook. It works for me. There's still these these things that we we give and take, but it's like you don't need Shit. I know I surround a man sometimes as a single man, but like, I need some pussy. <laughs> I mean, that's the shallowest of needs, but still, you know what I'm saying? I need some companionship. I need some TLC. You know what I'm saying? My love language is touch and affection. Where am I getting that from? Where do I need that from? The women. So I don't understand it. I don't. Because then you run into somebody that got the bag that you're looking for. You run into a millionaire. Let's say you run into a millionaire. And he's not trying to hear nothing. You're arm candy. There's a couple rare millionaires, I'm sure, just looking for like wives and companions to spend their money with. But the most motherfuckers, they're going through the same dating pool. Except the women that in their dating pool... Families got bags. So it's like, you come to me with nothing, then you're just a showpiece. And you don't want to f- cook for the bro? He's spending everything on you. You don't want to clean for the bro? You don't want to suck him off? Or you will, but it's like all dependent on what he's doing for you? Like... That shit is wild. And then there's like a whole bunch of people that's on point, though. A whole bunch of women that need men. It's just like a whole bunch of men that need women. And we okay with saying that. It don't make you feel like a simp. It's just simply what it is. But you can't find them because they're jaded by social media and the dating stream that they're going through over and over again. Everybody run into fuck niggas, fuck bitches. You know what I'm saying? You run into conscious fuck boys. What I mean by that is like, you conscious and understand that, you know, you're not trying to do nobody wrong. You're high energies only, this, that, and the third. But you still like, don't see that the woman you're talking to really dig you. And you like, oh, well, I kept it a bean with her. I was letting her know I'm just experiencing life. But you didn't understand human nature and how that could hurt her, you're a spiritual fuckboy. So this is a lot of weird shit going on right now. And it's just like, I don't even want to be a part of the dating scene. But I love women. And, you know what I mean, I'm going to get mines, but it's like, where is the quality at? You know what I'm saying? I'm constantly trying to change the quality of my life. That's why I work hard. That's why I live how I live. I almost feel like I got to lead the country to find matching energy in the opposite sex. Now, tell me it ain't so. Any women out there that are going through the same thing, we need to make a group or something where it's just like no fuck shit allowed. Like, people are who they are, but they understand that we need each other. And there ain't nobody greater than the next. We are equal. We are different. But we are equal. But my strengths may not be your strengths, just like your strengths are my strengths. But that balance is what keeps the world circulating. But right now, it's all about a bag. A Birkin. (laughs) Chanel and shit like that. Like, I've had strangers. Like, strangers never... 
talk to him like a couple times, two sentences. Ask me for straight cash. Put their cash app in my DM. Where where's your pride at? But I realize it's it's the fuck niggas. And these motherfuckers out there that don't get no fucks, they dropping bags on these bitches because it's like, she got a pretty face and a fat ass. I'll get a couple of dollars because I got it. So they think that that's the standard. Like, you missing out on quality, thinking you looking for quality. And then you back where you at because most of them don't marry these rich men. They just drop a bag on you and keep it pushing. It's not like one joint I know that's about getting that money from a motherfucker that has secured a real rich nigga. They be tricking off on y'all. A Birkin bag is $40 to a rich nigga. But you think because you can't afford it and that shit's major to you that it ain't, you stain $40 joint. So then what do we have to offer each other? You got to take a, a real solid look at that. Like, what do I have to offer this man? Am I going to fucking be upset when I don't give what I want? And I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be cold. I'm going to be masking. I'm going to be cussing and be extra loud and violent. Am I going to better myself if I run into one of these guys? that's willing to drop the bag and then bring it back to the family and not just move on? Like, build the empire with him? Like, what do anybody really want? So is it really that everybody just trying, is out for themselves? Let's see what I can get out the next person so I can build my empire off the next person? What about getting it for yourself? Because getting it from another motherfucker is not getting it for yourself. When you got people out here breaking their backs, going to school for four to eight years to get at their bag. You gotta take a hard look. Like, us as men too, like, what do I have to offer? Dick should not be the only thing you got to offer, bro. Just like there's plenty of pussy out here, trust and believe, there's more dick out here for them women. So dick shouldn't be what you have to offer. If it is, that's why you lost your bitch. So what do you have to offer? What are your goals? What are your aspirations? How do you view your kids? How you look at your kids? How you see family? How do you see neighborhood? How do you see community? What are you willing to do to create these things that you see? This world is fucked. And this conversation is only stemming from the dating scene. Think about it. Shit crazy.